Hello friends, Yossi Kaplan here, your friendly Toronto and Costa Rica realtor. In this webinar today, I'm going to show you how to buy, acquire, and obtain an investment Airbnb condo in Costa Rica the easy way. Um, this development has been set up specifically for this purpose, to help people acquire condos in Costa Rica. You can be from anywhere in the world. You can be from Canada like me. You can be from the U.S. You're welcome to contact me for this opportunity. I wanted to let you know there's no cost for you to participate, and the price you're gonna get from me is the same price you're gonna get from the developer because I've been cleared and trained by the developer to sell this development to you. So the price is gonna be the same, and what you'll get is you'll get my expertise in managing and helping you obtain the right property from all those available to your needs and to your budget. So let me start by showing you about this specific property. Obviously, there are many more, but today we're gonna to focus on this specific one. This development is called Pacifico, and it's located in Playa del Coco on the Pacific in Costa Rica, just 35 minutes from Liberia Airport. Okay, I'm going to share here I'm going to do a screen share and show you the map so you show, show you you see exactly where we are here we are and what you're going to see here is you're going to see a map and in this map you can see where the liberia airport is and when the property is so i'll zoom out for you a little bit switch to the street view or the map view and this is the liberia airport this is a large international airport in costa rica where a lot of the tourists come through when they go west towards tamarindo playa del coco nasa colo all all um all, all the tourist areas on the west coast on the pacific coast uh this specific one pacifico is very close and the nice thing about it, it's moderately priced. The four seasons that is here, it's here, you can see, the first one comes $1,776 a room, and there are rooms up to $5,000. This entire area is filled with very, very expensive uh, areas. So investment-wise, this is a very good idea, I believe, because it's close to the airport and you're really in a rich neighborhood. So if anyone wanted to access this area, quickly and efficiently, but not pay $2,000 or $5,000 a night, this is this is an opportunity for you. I'm going to share a screen here, and we'll start just with a little teaser to show you what the ocean views look from the property. Then I'll move to the property itself. So you can see there are ocean views here. You're literally above the bay in Playa del Coco. Now, so you understand um, this specific development. I'll go back to the map here for a second. Now, this specific development has been around for 18 years, 1-8. Um, the houses in the development were built a while ago. And you can see here the houses in the development. And what you see here, this area here in the center, this is where these five condo buildings are going to go. Okay, That's where they're going. Now, what happens is the, the area is already established. The town is right there. So it's very easy. Everything is established, whether it's property management, shuttle to the airport, the beaches, the store, everything is right there. It's a lot easier to add value to an area that is so close to the airport and already serviced. And in addition, like I told you, this area also is served by five star, six, seven star hotels, but there's no options for tourists that wanna pay two or $300 a night. And this is exactly where these come in. Okay, um, I'm gonna run you, uh, I'm gonna start explaining about the properties now, but what I wanna do first is I wanna take a big look at this here. And what you see here is right here, I'm gonna put myself right under, um, right under these, these are where the five buildings are. These five buildings are the buildings uh, which we're talking about today. And as you can see, if I can uh, switch it a bit to the side, that's too much. Uh, number five to the right 
And number four, these are the ones under construction now, the time I'm making this video. Number three, we take it and they're 80% sold out. And I'm going to tell you in a minute about the deals and the specials and why these are still good investments and why it's still first tier pricing at this moment. Number three, we're taking reservations and two, one and two will be ready in a later date. Four and five will be ready for approximately winter of 2025, January onwards. Uh, number three will be about a year after that and one and two will be a bit more after that, okay? Well, let's get into a bit of uh, details here. And these are one of the investment brochures that you have waiting for you. Uh, once you sign, if you look at the link below these videos, there'll be a link for you and you can sign up and you'll get access to my Google Drive with all this information. You can also email me and call me with any questions and I'll tell you what's available at what prices and I'll help you pick the right unit. Now here are the five buildings. You can see them very clearly. Five is the very right one, and one is the very left one. So from left to right, one to five, okay? Um, what they're showing you here is they're showing you, of course, the richness of Costa Rica and the beautiful town of Playa del Coco. Um, and here is a map. Pacifico is right here. I just showed you in the Google map, okay? Now, this is the beach club for the entire pacifico community this beach club is already working it's it's complete it's full it's wonderful this is a real picture it's not a render and when you become an owner in pacifico in the naomi phase which are the five condo buildings you have access to the beach club and your hoa hoa which are your condo fees or your monthly fees for the unit depending where you come from they cover all that you need for the beach club that means that you don't have to pay extra for this beach club okay that is very very important because if you're going to stay at the beach club for yourself or one of your renters will stay uh, not stay at the beach club stay at pacifico and use the beach club you and your renters and everyone else in the five buildings can let their tenants and the renters and the tourists use the beach club. It's, it's, it's part of the deal, okay? So that's very important because it's a very important amenity. Think about it. You come out of the airport, you drive for 35 minutes, you put your stuff in the condo, and you go down to the beach club. In addition, there are actually, and I should have mentioned before, there are, and I'm going to go back here, um, to the right of number five and between four, three and four, there are pools. So if you wanted to use the pool and not go all the way down, you can just use those little pools that will be there at between three and four. There's a small amenity space. And to the side of five, there's also one. Okay. Um, here is uh, building FAQs. If you wanted to know the, the developer name, PDC Limitada Limited, the builder is Proyocon, the architect Garnier, the law firm Invicta, now, if you are buying with the with uh, with the developer, um, your closing costs, which I'll get back to at the end of this, uh, the second half of this webinar, will include your legal fees. Okay, with Invicta, uh, the boutique is six-story mid-rise, approximately thirty suites or units per building with one hundred fifty total. So it's not such a large um, project. The one and two bedrooms and flex suites. Okay. Now, I'm going to get back to this in a minute, but understand that actually there are more two bedrooms and large units here than the small ones. So if you're investors and you're going for the 215 units and up, uh, pay attention because this is very important. There are actually very small amount of one bedroom here and large amount of larger, more expensive units. And as investors, if you do the numbers like me, you know that the smaller unit can yield very high returns. Okay, so that's important to know. There you go. You got parking, elevator per building, and the HOA, which are your condo fees. It's called HOA here. Include landscaping, roads, garbage removal, maintenance of common elements, 24-hour security, and beach club membership. And spring 2025 will be completion for the first two. Okay. Here's a key plate. A key plate is if you slice the building across, that's what you get. And you can see we have three small units and two large units for floors one and two. Now, when I say floor one and two, actually these floors, and pay attention here, the first floor of the building is the parking. So it's 
above ground parking and floor one is really the floor above it so it's a second floor okay so go back to the key plate and then the floors above three four five and six you get uh, similar units this way okay very good um, there's an faq here you'll get access when you register below it'll just send you the link and you can read the whole thing but it basically will say quite a few of the things I tell you and some more. This is another amenity that I really think that you should pay attention. And this is the, the sailboat club or the boat club. Now, the, the uh, people that started the Pacifico, they love to fish. So they bought a bunch of boats, apparently. And those boats are parked uh, at the boat club down by the water. And if you're an owner, you have access to the boat club when you want to use it for yourself. Now, if your unit is in the rental pool, I'll get to all the numbers in a minute. If you're an owner of the rental pool and one of the renters that Airbnb, your unit, or VRBO, your unit, use in the boat club, you're gonna get half of the revenue generated, 50%. So the Pacifico Boat Club will split with you uh, income coming from renters that use in the boats okay from your renters so this will be in your agreement but that's great because it's a bit of extra income for the people that are members of the boat club that the boat club currently there is a sale on it so it's very inexpensive it's a one-time fee and then it's uh, fee per use and even without it special it's still very affordable and i think it's a good thing to do to uh be a member there because it gives you more options for investments now <clears throat> I'm going to show you here a list that I I, uh, I went through and I prepared for you. And then I'm going to get to the numbers. Now, what's going to happen when I get to get to the numbers? If you're watching this on YouTube or on a public channel, the video will be cut at that point. But use the link below to sign in to the webinar version, which is the whole version. And you'll see all the numbers. And the reason is, is because the agreement with the developer is that I do not expose numbers publicly so this is how we do it in the industry um, you get all the free information and the number is also free but you have to register so it's just not lying around uh, online especially if units are sold and then these numbers uh, or the units available that I show you here no longer match we don't want anyone to how come you tell me this price but it's not available so that's why we ask for a login and then you can request current prices what's available and I'll send it to you okay so here we are. So the first thing about Costa Rica, and I, I assume you know this, but Costa Rica is a, an amazing retirement destination. It's a blue zone, which means there's area in Guanacaste that people live for a long time because it's sunny and the fruit and, and everything is great. Um, it's safe. A lot of people go to retire in Costa Rica. It's affordable. Uh, the tourist visa is now 180 days, not 90. So you can come for 180 days, just hang out, and then go back to North America, wherever you're from. And Costa Rica offers you residual income and value growth. So in investments in um, Costa Rica real estate tend to do very well, traditionally. And in a minute, I'll show you some uh, returns and some real numbers where we calculate regarding these specific units. And I'll show you which units are, in my opinion, are the best for investments and why I would invest in these and not those. Now, obviously, if you're here, just pure investor like me, you just want to make as much money as you can on your, on your investment, then there's a specific unit to buy, I believe. You can look at the numbers yourself and decide for yourself. However, if you want to use the unit for your, own, for your own usage, that's also okay. You can do that. You don't have to pay management fees or anything like that, just the basics. But in that case, you may want to buy a larger unit, okay? So we'll get to that in exactly a minute. So <clears throat> now I'll show you a bit of the investments, but I'm, I'm really going to get into um, the units themselves and the calculations in a minute. But the video may stop for you if you are on YouTube or public channel. But just follow the link below and watch the rest of the video like that. The investments, the units start at 215 USD. Okay, 215, that's what they start at. Um, now, that depending on availability, 
um, how many units left, which unit, and so on. Now, these units, I really like them, the ones of the 215, because they're smaller units, more efficient, and there are not so many of them. That means that if someone just wants a cheaper unit to rent out, they come into Costa Rica for a week or two, they may prefer this one and not the more expensive large ones. So there could be a situation, I think there will be a situation where the small units get booked a lot, maybe more than the large units because they're cheaper to rent. That's how the pyramid works, right? Like the, the base product, the lower end product or the cheaper, less expensive product usually turns to rent or sell faster than the more expensive one. And there's less of them here and more of them here. Okay, so that's just common sense. Um, the other units, uh, they are 1,200 square feet or a little larger and they start about 550 USD. Okay, um, the taxes are low in Costa Rica. They're low. Uh, the HOA fees down here are low, but also include the beach club access and those two pools I told you about. Uh, the management fees are 150 a month. That's to manage the unit when it's in the rental pool. If you live there, I don't think you have to pay that. Uh, there's a standard furniture package for all rentals. That means that if you're going to invest in the rental, all the rental units are going to have standard furniture package. Those are currently on sale. Uh, from the developer. So I asked them how did they choose and they say we chose something that really fits the area and really fits people's expectation and looks good and very durable. Okay, so this guy's been doing it for a long time. They know what to look for. So what happens and this is common in a lot of these type of developments is all the furniture package are unified because then if something breaks it's easy to repair and replace and it gives kind of a professional vibe of a hotel and not i bring this stuff and you bring that stuff no they all look the same they're all managed centrally and and it's done for you so this is a turnkey investments handoff basically you you pay for the unit uh, there's some financing uh, options too and then you can just do nothing and it'll be run for you and if you want to use it you can and by the way if you want to sell the units you can sell them uh, it's it's an easy process. I'll go over it later if I have a bit of time. But now we're looking into the acquisition. Uh, the 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 rental pool will pay you 80-20 split. So 80-20 split means that you get 80% of the rental revenue after um, whatever expenses are cleared, and <clears throat> the management gets 20. That's very very good for Costa Rica because it could be 30-70 or 35-65. And the management fees are only 150 a month, which is good. The HOA fees also include the beach club I mentioned, access and two pools. That's very, very important because people come to Costa Rica. Imagine it's so easy to come there. You just fly to Liberia, you drive, you take a taxi 35 minutes and you're there. You go downstairs, you're in a pool and then you go to the beach club and you're there. And you're, in, you're in the Playa del Coco, you're there. If you're the Four Seasons, you, you, can't, you can't really leave. You're there, it's great, but then you have to go all around the peninsula to get to town. And this way you can just go to town, get something to eat, sit at the bar, make some friends, meet some friends, anything you want. It, it, the, the access is very, very important. It's very, very important. I think that really makes the investment here very, very viable. And I did mention that the boat club owner pay no fee to use, uh, um, they pay a fee for the boat, they just don't have to pay access once that they bought the membership. That's one time. <clears throat> uh, and then they receive 50% from revenue when the unit renter books the fishing boat. That's extra income. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to uh, switch pages. And the video is going to stop at this point if you're on public channel, YouTube, or whatever, because I'm going to show the actual units uh the plans the numbers the investments all all their financials <clears throat> so to keep watching it's free but we have to put uh we have to put like a, a, a email gate on it so you gotta put your name email phone number and then just keep watching the video in the link below uh it's over on my site thank you very much so here we are jump in if you're already watching inside the webinar inside the site we're just gonna keep going okay <clears throat> 
So I'm going to show you now, I'm going to show you now um, the first unit, okay, the first unit, which is the valley unit. Here it is, the valley unit. Now the valley unit, <clears throat> this is the investment analysis of the valley unit. Um, I want to show you what it looks like. Let me bring it up here. Let me just show you here a couple more things about the property. So this is the Pacifico map you can see here. I kind of showed you on the Google map. <clears throat> you can see it here. And these are the five Naomi buildings that we talk about. And you can get an idea of what the unit's going to look like. They're going to be modern, very clean, very nice, very useful, lots of use, especially the large units, which are the corner units. You get great view, fresh air, and he, this is the pool area in between the buildings that I told you about. So it's kind of a mini club in the club. And there you go overlooking uh, the boats. Okay, and this is the valley. This is very, very important because this is the investment unit that we're talking about right now. Okay, so this unit is 599 square feet indoor. 599 square feet, okay, so 600 square feet. And th there's 104 square feet uh, balcony, okay, 703 in total. Now, this unit is very, very important because there are not too many of them. And these make the investor units because these are the lowest priced units. Now, some of these units are looking towards the hill. So you're not going to have uh, water views or partial water views. That's why they price lower. In my opinion, this could be the highest ratio units that will give you the best income because the entry price is so low. That means that more renters can rent the unit and your percent of your nights rented versus 365 is the highest, right? So the more accessible your product is, the more people rent it. And they will say, I don't need to look at the ocean if this price is lower, I'm just going to go downstairs and at the ocean anyways. And most people don't spend time at the unit. They come to maybe to have dinner and then they go out of town. So really, they come to the unit to sleep, to change, shower, eat something, and go back out. So that's why I think these units are very, very viable. Okay? So I'm going to switch back now. Uh, and this is the investment analysis for this unit I showed you, the valley. Okay? So in this example here, um, the down payment is 30%. Now, some of these units will be 30% uh, deposit. Some of them will be 50% deposit. You can get financing. Or you can pay 100% and then basically keep all the profits. Uh, you'll have more profits to you. In this example, and, you know, your specific situation could be different. This is just one example out of many. Uh, the mortgage amount is about 172000 These are U.S. dollars. The acquisition cost, uh, you're looking at about $12,282. Uh, with 30-year amortization is 6% interest. Um, <clears throat> you're looking at about $1,030, $1,031 a month uh, for the mortgage payment. Okay? Now, if you pay cash for that, or then there's no mortgage payment. That's $1,000, $1,031 in your pocket back. And... If you had a different arrangement, a 50-50, then this amount will likely be lower, okay? If your interest rate is higher, this amount could be higher. So it really depends. And when we speak, I'll help you calculate what would be the return amount approximate for your unit, for your budget. Okay. And I will show you at the very end, we do have financing options available, which are, in my opinion, quite decent. Uh, in the global financial market, I think it's pretty good. Okay, here are the operating expenses. The operating expenses means how much it costs you to run this unit. Okay, you're you're an investor, and uh, if I didn't show the numbers, let me show them here. I might have missed them. Okay, so these gonna show here um, the investment house, and, and you can download all this from the site. Okay, from from my uh, Google Drive. So commission for rent, this is based on the 80-20 rule, okay? This unit, 
receive $3,600 down here. So $720, that was your commission for rent. $300 is for utilities. Property manager, that's a fixed $150. Taxes, $83.33. That's fixed. These are your HOA fees that include the club access and inflation. So you're looking at $1,153 expenses. Price per night estimated 200 and 18 nights per room, that's 3,600. Okay, that's what they did here. Now, a small unit may get more than 18 nights per month, but this is average annual. And depending on your expenses, your expenses may be higher or lower. Okay, so take this with, with just an example, one out of many, but it'll give you an idea of what you can expect here or what you're looking at. And these are real numbers because these people have been there. The, Pacifico is around for 18 years, and Playa del Coco is a tourist attraction. It's these are these are reasonable numbers. So your income for rent for year one, you can see the estimated about 43,000, which is I think quite conservative, goes up to 51.5 in year seven. To me, that's quite conservative. With global inflation, we may see higher. With demands, I think we will see higher. So these are the income commission, that's the 20%. These are the expenses for the administration. This is clearing of that 1031 a month. And these are your total expenses. And this is your cash flow of 83.48.91. So 9.71 for this year, up to 17% uh, in seven years. Now, mind you, if you didn't have a loan payment and just paid cash, there's a lot more money uh, coming back to you. So if you're looking for a place, and a lot of people do that because these units at 215 plus all the expenses to close them and to run them, they're still reason, very reasonable for Costa Rica, okay? And here they're estimating that the market value of the unit in seven years will go up by $100,000, okay? So you can see <clears throat> that you, your, your value is increasing. You're making cash flow out and the value increases and then of course you can sell the unit if you want it or just keep it or live in it okay so here's some idea some numbers of what to look for now i'm going to quickly show you uh the tide the tide in building four and five has been sold out um we are taking reservations for building three okay um, i can tell you it'll be first tier pricing like this one could be slightly more but still taking reservation for the tide it's a similar investment but the numbers here get larger okay and here are the large unit that's a large two bedroom 13 this is a total uh, but that's about 1200 square feet on the inside purchase price 530 seven year cash return 438 so that looks pretty good and you can see here that the price per night is 350 it's quite a bit more it's 50 percent more than the other one right and with only 18 nights a year uh you're looking at 6300 per month okay so 75,000 return on the first year and 90,000 uh sorry income uh 90,000 on year seven and then you're looking at some uh serious uh uh up in your in your investment, um, looking at cash on cash seven year RRI, that looks very, very positive here. Okay, so this is for you to download and you can look through it and uh, and see what you like to do with it. Okay, I'll be back now. And I'll give you a quick uh, recap of what we talked about. So this is Naomi, which are the these five buildings within the Pacifico development, which is established. It's got an established beach club. It's got a boat club with an optional membership, which you can make 50% back of your renters renting boats at the boat club, which is extra income. It's got an 80-20 split with $150 a month management fee. It's got a furniture package that you have to buy if you're going to participate in, in the rental management program. It's got fantastic location only 35 minutes from the Liberia airport which is absolutely fantastic and it's right here's Liberia there and it's right inside the town of Playa del Coco and you are surrounded by very very expensive places um, 
this is only 500 a night it's secret and this is 1777 now so it went up by a dollar since i started okay um, and here you can get a room for 200 to 350 a night on average so that makes a lot of sense um, it's very easy to get the famous Playa hermosa is here uh tamarindo is just down there right down there is tamarindo so that's a very famous uh, resort uh town and uh all the amazing and you can see liberia town here the airport is here and you literally just have to drive 35 minutes okay there's obviously a lot more but, but i think that this is a very very good start to learn about this project i really really recommend that you sign up uh download all this information and then give me a shout you can see here on the right that's where they're gonna go okay right there and i really suggest that you give me a shout and i'll run you through this and i'll go on call with you and answer all your questions and also tell you what is available at what price and what is uh, no longer available there's any other additions are there any incentives are there any sales being offered um, on this development bear in mind it's not a large development buildings four and five already sold 80 percent three is taking reservations four and five will be ready in uh 2025 early three will be ready 2026 one and two probably 2027 very nice here's an i don't know if the furniture package will be exactly that but you can expect kind of the style to be somewhat similar lots of beautiful views especially for the two bedroom units uh, there are between buildings four and five there's an area with a couple pools you're looking at now and to the side of five there's also an area so and if you wanted to go down to the beach club you can to the city and here are the units the valley you see it right here there'll be some uh, half wall here here is the tide right now it's sold out see there's not too many of them that's why and these are the sunsets uh this 11 1170 1170 square feet on the inside which is kind of a two plus den okay very very nice development well done um i think it's a viable investment opportunity if you know costa rica it's really everyone wants to be in costa rica um it's it's offers it's offering 180 days of uh tourist visa 180 days so very good thank you very much yossi kaplan here uh call me or email me with any questions